Welcome to the world of scale modeling with Mike Ashey, where techniques, tips, and creativity come alive with dozens of tutorials, projects, tape-up reviews, and picture references to help you build better scale models and enjoy our wonderful hobby. Welcome to our tape-up review of the AMT Ertl 148 scale B26 Marauder. This kit was originally issued by AMT back in the 80s, around the same time Monogram issued their kit, and then in subsequent years, Ertl bought the molds and reissued it several times. You can still find this great kit on eBay. And with that quick historical background, let's get started with the tape up. The kit has several interior bulkheads, and all of the detail on the bulkhead walls is very pronounced and easy to paint. The bulkheads also fit nicely inside the fuselage. With the bulkheads in place, the fuselage closes up quite nicely. The top part of the fuselage is very tight. Even the top seam on the front of the fuselage area by the cockpit closes up nicely. The bottom seam is also quite tight in the aft part of the fuselage. And as you work your way forward, you'll notice the seams are very tight and the forward landing gear bay fits quite nicely on the front half of the fuselage and doesn't cause the fuselage halves to split. The wings on the Marauder had no upward angle or dihedral and they were pretty much straight across from the fuselage. Setting the wings correctly on the kit results in voids on the top half of the wing to fuselage connection, which can easily be filled with strips of evergreen strip stock. The voids between the wing and the fuselage on the lower side can easily be filled with beads of super glue and then sanded smooth. The tail on this kit is a separate piece and the tiny void between the tail and the fuselage can easily be filled with white glue once the area is primed. The elevator assembly on this kit fits much better than on the monogram kit and that tiny void between the elevator surface and the fuselage can easily be filled with white glue once the area is primed. The engine cowlings fit nicely on the nacelles and the two air intakes fit perfectly onto the engine cowlings. Whereas on the monogram kit, it takes a lot of work to get the air intakes contoured onto the cowlings. Here you can see just how well the air intake scoops fit onto the cowlings. The surface area between the cowlings and the lower parts of the wing are level, so all you have to do is use beads of super glue, and in some cases some really thin strips of evergreen strip stock to fill the voids and then contour these areas smooth. The engine nacelles don't have any positioning tabs for left and right halves, so you have to use the bulkheads that come with the kit to help get these parts positioned correctly. The challenge on this kit, just like on the monogram kit, is the fit of the engine nacelles in the forward leading edges of the wings. Some of the void you see is because the tape came loose, but in all instances, both super glue and thin strips of evergreen strip stock will fill these voids and then sand the areas smooth. The engines that come with the kit are not to R2800s, but they can be modified to look pretty closely to R2800s, or you can buy 3D printed R2800 engines that fit perfectly in the engine cowlings. There's some nice detail in the cockpit area, and the Edward pre-painted cockpit set for the monogram kit will actually work in this kit with some minor modifications. The canopy for this kit is rather large and it exposes a huge amount of area inside the cockpit. So careful painting and detailing are a must on this kit if you want to really show the interior. The landing gear for this kit are nicely done, but the two main landing gears for the engine nacelles need a little bit of modification to get them to fit correctly inside their positioning holes. All the clear parts fit quite nicely onto the fuselage and no modifications are needed to get the clear parts to fit correctly. 
I'll be publishing a three-part series on building, detailing, and painting this great kit in early January, so stay tuned to our Scale Modeling channel. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. And when you get the chance, visit our website at www.mikeashy.com, where you're going to find dozens of free PDF downloads, including tutorials, picture references, model galleries, projects, and my five original scale modeling books. Thanks to Ben Sound and Vidivo for the royalty-free music, and happy scale modeling!